get that coffee and crepes Come on Who wears my coffee and crepes? That's right I'm looking for some coffee and crepes Give me that coffee and crepes I want that coffee and crepes My name is Michael John Carson QB. I'm from Edmonton, born and raised. I'm the youngest of four, so two of them are step siblings, but lived with them pretty much my whole life. I'm uh, 29, just turned 29, yeah. It's called Rainforest Blend, that's what I'm steeping here. Alright, smells delicious. Yeah. So my brother came back from a trip to Vietnam where he had brought a little point-and-shoot camera and I think I was maybe 14 or younger uh, and he came back and he had this little camera and I remember taking a look at some of the photos and being kind of blown away and then going out and buying my own little point-and-shoot camera and you know I would put it on a tripod and take photos of flowers and stuff and just I was I realized I was really interested in learning how the camera worked I, it wasn't so much what I was shooting as I was really interested in figuring out the technical aspects of it. It was really, it was really enjoyable for me. And like I was into skateboarding, snowboarding, basketball, um, and I was interested in the arts, but it wasn't a focus. I was very, I was a very athletic kid, and I had a couple injuries and stuff. And I dabbled with music, and slowly the the art side of me took over, I guess. If I could do fine art portraiture, fashion work, and editorial work, it would be amazing. That would be my dream. If people want to get in touch with me, um, take a look at my my work at uh, www.michaelqb.com. Instagram at kuby. Yes, uh, it's the Hasselblad 500cm, a medium format camera. Carl Zeiss lenses, which are all so beautiful, very sharp. Um, it, the pop that you get from these, from from the lenses that that are made for this camera are just like, it's in, it's it's. So easy to spot for any for photographers who know, uh, uh, especially with color work. I mean, it just really it really works. It takes medium format film, uh, which don't have any on me, but basically you can see on the back here that that's a square, and so the film will land uh right here so so the negative that you're getting is the size of basically that that back right there uh which is kind of cool because most cameras especially digital cameras the the ratio is all four by six you can spot that from a mile away too so it's nice uh for everybody shooting and uploading stuff to instagram if you use one of these it's the native format it's really nice a leica m6 it's a 35 millimeter camera so when you think about film and those little little rolls of film and it'll take film that's that size uh, as opposed to the 120 millimeter film which is which the Hasselblad uses. It's great for say street photography really good for candid work. Okay so this camera is the Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2. A ton of fantastic commercial work has been made with it over the years. So I'm about to show you a print um, of an image that I made while I was in school in Ottawa. I found it was the first time I've ever been able to frame something so kind of beautifully and uh, it's really stuck with me. I love the tonal range that I managed to capture. Um, the eye really travels I think through the photo nicely and uh, it's been always been a bit of a favorite of mine even though it's kind of unlike most work that I usually produce. So here's another photograph that was also produced in Ottawa. Shows off the sort of uh, big frame that that the the medium format cameras have to offer. So both of these images were made with the Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2, um, and just the uh, the perspective that these cameras have on the world, uh, it's just such a large look, and I think it's really beautiful. 